Oh. Dude. Nice. That's sick. Yeah, this thing does make me look small, man. <laughs> so much room for activities, dude. Ow, no. Ow, no. What's going on, guys? I mean, uh... Anyways, so um, Outlaw is out right now doing some business crap and I'm stuck here with uh, this big thing. <sighs> so anyways, I guess I'll start unboxing this guy but I'm gonna go get the tripod. Well, sorry about the lighting. Sun's kind of half on, half off so I'm just kind of working with what I got. So here comes the unboxing of the diamond bag. Oh, there's one. All right, let's see what we got in here. Let's go, Luna. Safety first. Oh, nice. Oh, hey, look, a little insulation gun. Well, if the Colorado was here, it'd have it done sooner. All right, next. Oh, whoa. That's some weird styrofoam. Look at that. Like, it's dotted. That's strange. Whatever. Two, three. Kobe. Still got it. <clears throat> First try. Ow. Oh, my ankle. Wow. Fancy. Alright, well, we got, you know, that piece and, uh, and that piece and the piece under that. So I think we have. All the pieces. Put it with the rest of the stuff. Oh yeah. Sweet. Well, hey, how about we go check out my truck? I don't know if you, I'm sure you guys kind of seen it here and there on the, some of the vidges, but uh, there she blows. I got a, I got a Colorado as well. You know, I got a Z71 right there. Nice and pretty. So these are the rims that I had and the tires and. And the outlaw there said I can have these guys off his old ones, so I think these ones will probably be a little bit better. I don't know if we'll be doing it on this video or not, but uh might put those on today or here in the coming days, so stay tuned for another one of in-laws Australian adventures. I'm sure you've heard of the Australian fires. You know, hope they're doing alright down there and those koalas can get some water. Alright, I'm out of here. I'm done. I'm not good at this video thing. There's Banjo being a derp. There's in-law being a derp. Whatever. Oh, look who decided to show up. Hey man, your truck's too big. Where you been all day, huh? Ah! Think it'll work? We're in, baby. All you gotta do is do a little, do a little, uh, do a little flex to the antenna there. What the hell you been doing all day? Backed in the truck. I freaking turned the heater on for you. Wow. You don't have a gosh dang worker on here. Wow. What cracking mother shockers, dude? I am super excited. I mean, I was in a bunch of stupid meetings this morning that I didn't want to be in, but now I'm excited because we get to work on this bed. We got sent a diamond back cover. I don't know how much in laws told you. I mean, probably not much because he ain't worth a dick. Uh, check this out, man. Look what we got. Diamondback Covers was nice enough to send us one for the bed of the Colorado, which is freaking awesome. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and install that really quick. They also sent us this uh, cool little bin here for uh, close to the cab. Ooh, that's actually super light. I could curl that. And then of course the diamond plate here. So it's a pretty cool cover. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these before, but we're gonna install it right now and then uh, you guys will see how she goes. I think it's perfect for the perfect hunting truck build. So let's go ahead and get at her. All right, so first thing we gotta do, make sure that this thing is weatherproof. So we got this little weatherproofing right here, which is gonna go on this bed rail back here. this off real nice with any dirt and debris. So it looks like with this weather strip, we just need to put it right here on this edge. Go all the way from edge to right here, all the way down to the other side. Then we're good. I cleaned it off of any debris. I need to in-law hold this piece here for me right there. 
Yep. And then where is the skizzers? All right, and then what we're gonna do is just cut this guy. Weather stripping is very important in Colorado, especially any state with rain and obviously we have a lot of snow here. But it's very important because you might have shit in here that you want to uh, keep freaking dry. And that's the point of having a cover, right? So you want to make sure that it stays covered. It's always nerve wracking when you're doing something like this. Oh, look at this perfect fit. It's always nerve wracking when you're doing something like this because then you're always like, man, am I missing a step? And then you freaking put something down, especially like this. And you're like, ah, oh, dang it, I didn't do this first. Always happens to everybody, but. All right, now they say basically once uh, your cover is on, you need to keep it locked and do not open it for 24 hours so everything seals correctly and stuff. So we're gonna obviously make sure of that, but everything's perfect, man. That little gasket right there. Let's move on. That's the center panel? Yep. All right, that's the center panel that goes on first. Yes, sir. I'm gonna hand this to in law. Start unwrapping this. Man, dude, this is actually like really good quality yeah. stuff. Like super nice, man. And it's tough. I was actually kind of worried whenever, uh, when I was like, man, a diamond back cover would be perfect, but this is only like a five foot bed. So it's one of those things that you're like, I don't know if anybody makes a tonneau cover for this size of bed because it's so small and short that it uh, turns out that they do. Oh yeah, it says tailgate under there. Okay, cool. We got it facing the right way. Here, we'll go grab the tail one. I'm pretty sure that's the shorter one. Dude, that's sexy. Oh my gosh, that looks so sexy, dude. Oops. Don't scratch my twerk. Damn, that looks good, boy. Yeah. That looks sweet. My goodness. Diamondback. Yeah. Well, oh, there's keys right here. Yeah. Those are to lock it. What? No. Really? Ooh, this thing's some heavy duty shit. You know what? Oh, just make sure I don't freaking fall. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be so awesome. The cool thing about this, look at this right here, man. They have these tie downs on each side of the thing. They're everywhere. So whatever you put on top of this thing, which they say you can fit four wheelers and side by sides and everything on top of this thing, there's a huge weight cap capacity, excuse me. And then you can tie shit down too, which is super cool. So uh, let's go ahead. Let's go one more. There you go. go. Yep. Oh, that was so satisfying. <laughs> oh. oh, it's gonna be something like that. Dude, this is gonna be so tense. Gah! All right, and I think we do the same thing on the back. It's pretty simple, I'm guessing. Oh, nice. So you wanna? Yep. You wanna do the honors? I guess. So much room for activities, dude. Oh. A lot heavier. There we go. And then this side. Look at that. Look at that, dude. Beautiful. That's what it's gonna look like. Dude, that's so sick. That's awesome, man. I mean, God, this took us a lot taller than I ever imagined. Check this out, man. Oh, this is what she looks like up here. Freaking beautiful. So now we just gotta strap her down, basically. Goes well with the, but like I said, look at this, man. So we can. <laughs> That's freaking tall, man. I'd love to see anybody strong enough to throw a damn 200 pound deer on top of that. But anyways, man, that's awesome. So then, you know, with everything that we want to put in here, there's still a lot of room. Once we get it all tied down, we'll, uh, we'll show you guys, but this is sweet, baby. Very, very cool. What's next? Might need my phone line under his on a bit. Yeah. I'm going in. Yeah. Yeah, man. Nice. All right, one more, and then we gotta go to the other side. What a weird looking clamp, eh? Looks like it'll definitely hold something down with them too, though. <laughs> okay. And 
time to eat a toy like a toy cat. Ow! My hands are so cold. All right. This should be tight. Like yo. All right, we got to take these out. Ugh. So these are the factory bed holes. And then I guess you take this red adhesive stuff here and stick it on right there. And then we basically adjust this guy here with these to go in those holes. That's how it locks into place, which is very cool that they use that with the stock truck. Right? Am I right? <laughs> Sometimes in life, you gotta run before you can walk. I'm gonna get that tatted on my butt cheeks. If I can ever get this stupid adhesive off. All right, so I just gotta loosen these set screws here, and then we can adjust these rods to fit in the holes. We got a lot of stuff fitting in the holes today. At least it's happening in this bed and not in the one upstairs. <laughs> Those are loose here. Now, you need to adjust the link, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and tighten that screw with that Allen right there. All right, we're just gonna tighten these guys down here. And I think we'll have to latch. The latching mechanism is done. Hopefully the tailgate closes. All right, see you guys in the next video. Y'all have a good now. I'm too fat for this crap! Sweet, dude! Just installed, they got us this, uh, this pretty cool crossband thing so you can put all your tools, jumper cables, whatever, and stuff. It just kind of sits there, and then I reckon this just flips right back over. This is about a quarter of an inch away from this, right? While it's open. Yeah. That's open? Yep. Okay, close. Uh, I hope we got the camera recorded. No, it's off. Oh, freaking hell. Forgot we had to do the locking pin on the on the cab side too, so. Oh, we just got that done. Now all we got is the hydraulics. Dude, it's cold. It is cold. <laughs> that okay sweet oh god dang oh all right all right shit mate back <laughs> she's up look at her look at the beautiness I'm going to bed. <laughs> See ya. Well, I'm gonna end the video right here. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, sweet man. So is that it? I think so, man. I think that's it, right? So I guess you could pull this guy down here. Dude. Nice. That's sick. And then this one. So the truck's a little high. Thank God that on the back, it's not, uh, it's just right here. Bam. Dude, this is awesome. Freaking sweet. Obviously the truck is, oh, I left my freaking phone in there with a the flashlight on. You're going to get it. <laughs> There's your freaking boy. Perfect, man. It's tight. We sealed, we got the gasket all around. Now it's time to take ah, the beautiful plastic off. One more right here. And we're done. <laughs> oh! Your truck makes you look tiny, dude. dude. I know it's, <laughs> dude. This truck is huge now. Yeah, it is. Like, it's huge. Like it's crazy, but it looks so sex, man. Dude, that's sick. Come up here and look. That is so sick. This, ladies and gentlemen, is all thanks to Diamondback Covers. I'm telling you guys right now. This, in my opinion, and trust me, I'm not getting paid by Dimeback or anything. They sent me this. They were, they were like, hey, we heard you talking about this in a video, and they were nice enough to send me one, and I can't thank them enough because I honestly think this is the perfect bed cover for a hunting truck. When you think about it up here, I'm going to get up here. 
and this is it's solid it's not bending at all like this is solid 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 and comes up from the back it's got your little tool section in there so when you're driving and stuff and you need tools whatever it's right there and then the back comes up you can throw whatever in there it's weatherproof so you can throw your luggage in there if you're traveling um, whatever also there's room enough where this comes up you can drag a deer in here or you could throw it on top and tie it down you can put your coolers up here we can put a cooler up here and tie it down we can put a four-wheeler up here and tie it down like that's what makes it so cool and um i gotta thank diamondback one more time for for sending me this and you know i just can't say enough about diamondback man what a freaking awesome company that's probably not the best way to promote them but yes oh but yeah this thing does make me look small man <laughs> like what the dick dude this is a chevy colorado it's not a silverado this is so cool dude so so cool and i'm super excited to to have it look at that mm. oh my goodness oh my goodness so dude you can fit anything in there it's all covered close her back down let's go hunting boys oh oh hey what do you think uh you know it's I'd say it's moderately sick as tits. <laughs> I freaking love it, man. It's awesome. I think it's cool, too, that we can, like, put a dang four-wheeler or whatever we want up here. It's super cool. And it gives a whole different look to the truck when you kind of step back and, and look at it. it. It just looks a lot meaner back there. Hey, make a little bit more noise, do you? Like you <laughs> <laughs> I can't thank Diamondback Covers enough. Thank you guys so much. I'm gonna put their links in the description box below if you guys wanna go follow them on social media and uh, or check out their website. If you guys want one of these, they make it for all different types of bed sizes. So you guys can go check them out. And I will say this, this is probably not gonna be my last Diamondback cover. There's a lot of other trucks that I have over here that I think will be perfectly suitable for another one of these guys. So maybe Diamondback and I will have to work together soon again there's a few things i want to do i don't want to tell you guys everything but i want to hear from y'all is there something that this truck is missing that you think a perfect hunting truck needs let me know in the comments below and if you guys are enjoying this build make sure to smash that thumbs up button i actually just made a playlist on this channel for bison build and that is uh basically a playlist that um you guys can uh watch the beginning to the end of me buying this thing and the uh Basically the, the, what, what's the word? The, you know, progression, the, the progression, the, yeah, progression of the, was the evolution. That's what I was, looking for. Uh. the evolution of this truck. So, uh, still a lot of things to come, but if you guys have any cool ideas, let me know in the comments. Dressed up in kind of some comfy clothes because I'm about to go get surgery, which is great. Uh, by the time you're seeing this, I've already had surgery. So I'm either alive and, you know, feeling like crap or I'm dead and obviously probably feeling like crap. I'm outlaw on a map, y'all. That's in law on a min, y'all. And I always remember, no matter what you're doing, 25, 8, 366. Always oh, keep it freaking hillbilly. You son of a dick. Yo, 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 yo. Billy to the day